Hello, Melissa Pixley here, and today I'm going to add on to an X Lights training nugget video that was created back in April of 2021. I'm just going to play a few minutes of that, well, a few seconds of that video. Hey everyone, I posted a challenge on Facebook to create an image or an effect such as this one without utilizing the image tool. Uh, GIFs, videos, or any third-party software. You can only utilize X-Lite's built-in effects. So, Okay, so that video is really awesome. I'm going to put that in the description for you, the, the link back to this original video. Um, in this video, he used a custom 2D path to create a drawing effect. He wrote out the word hey in this video, and um, it's really cool. So I'd like to show you how you can manipulate that just a little bit more um, using layer blending. So first I'll show you what he actually did. Um, first he created, one moment, um, he created a 2D path by going to Tools. And down here, Generate 2D Path. And I just found uh, an image of a word that I wanted to write out on the internet. So I'm gonna load that in, in this screen just so I can use it to trace my word because otherwise it's going to look absolutely horrendous. Um, put it in a junk folder, yeah. Okay, so it's just the word hey. To create the 2D path, you have to start with this light blue dot and drag it to your starting point. And then the dark blue is the end of your path. And to create more points along this path, you just double click. If something looks bad and you wanna add another point, you would just hover over the line until you see this bullseye, double click, it adds another point, and you can just drag it right out. And then continue on your merry way. isn't going to be beautiful because <laughs> I'm only doing it for reference here just to show you how to how it would make it work so once you're <coughs> satisfied with your path, you would hit the word generate, and that's going to create an X path and a Y path, which I've already done. Um, so we'll just say test on this. I'm, I'm going to use the hey files when I generate my effect, but that's how you would do it in any case. <coughs> so closing that, now I'm going to add the shockwave effect. Um, on the matrix, all right. And in his video, he changed these, all of these values very low. I think one or two, I'm just gonna make them all one. Okay, and then he loaded his files by going into first the X coordinates and he went down to this load button you select your X file for your X values. And then you do the same with the Y. You go in and then you're gonna select the Y file for the Y coordinates. And as you can see, the shockwave is moving around like it's writing the word hey, but it's not staying there, it erases the buffer each time there's a movement. So in order to get that to stay, he tells us we have to turn on persistent. And you can see now that it's writing the word out and it's staying on the screen, which is really awesome. So, um, you know, and you can, of course, add colors. You can add sparkles. I think he added the trendle. He added a, a second layer 
and uh, added the trundle effect to make it look like a brush stroke, which I'm, I'm not going to do, but <laughs> um, you can see that in the original video, which is in the description. Okay, so um, in order to do a little bit of layer blending and make this um, look different, I'm going to insert another layer. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to take the colors off of this. So I'm going to start with a butterfly effect because why not? And I'm going to make these both the same size. You can see the butterfly is already coming through just a little bit. I don't know if it would if I, yeah, if I have a color on here, it doesn't show up as well, but um, in order to see the colors more clearly, I'm going to change the shockwave layer to one is true unmask. And you can see now that the colors of the butterfly are showing through on the shockwave. And you can, the nice thing about this, um, and the reason I'm showing you this, is because you can change it to other effects. Like if I wanted to change this butterfly to, for example, a fan. <clears throat> I could increase the radius. <laughs> Maybe add some colors. <laughs> Increase the number of blades. So you can add more, or not more, just other things. You can you can do a little bit more with this um, by adding layer blending. Or maybe I want to change it to fire. Um, if it were <coughs> Halloween, you might want to write out something spooky with the fire effect. You might have to change the height of the fire just to get your words to show up. But you can see it's flickering a lot. You could write out the word help. <laughs> You could add, let's see, what else? Meteors, um, you know, you, you could, there's just, you know, sky's the limit. <laughs> so, um, You could just play around with this and, and um, you know, add, add different effects and uh, see what kind of um, things you could do with this. But I just wanted to add on to that a little bit. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video <laughs> and thank you for watching.